Raphael Vinoli is uh, the principal at Raphael Vinoli Architecture in New York. Uh, he's been coming to Shanghai since what 1981. <laughs> so you've been you've been coming here for a long time. What do you think of as you walk around the city today and you see uh, all of this international gathering here? Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's usually um, something you or at least I ought to be prepared to because I I I saw it in its previous incarnation. I mean, it's a different animal. Too. But one that reflects the extraordinary energy of this uh, society and the country, um, I think is a, is a uh, testing ground for a number of things uh, uh, to be uh, uh, to be evaluated. I think that, uh, as I said before, it must be almost impossible to try to control the drive for development in a urban wide um, in a city wide context um, but the uh, the river still has this uh, visual and and environmental quality which was uh, um, equally wonderful you know 20 30 years ago and I mean you know one of the most uh, remarkable parts of the of the experience of coming back here more or less regularly is to see uh, the, the 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 changes in the air quality condition, which to me is a defining uh, barometer of of what is really the price of all of this. Um, I think that what you see in terms of uh, uh, commercial buildings and office buildings is 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 absolutely phenomenal but at the same time contrasting very significantly with the incredible sort of poor development of, of what the housing problem is. I think that uh, all you have to do is just to travel probably much longer than I used to travel in 83 or so um, to the countryside which has essentially vanished but yet occupied, I mean, it's still there, but occupied by this absolutely relentless, thoroughly dumb and, uh, and um, uh, unremarkable housing prototypes that are really, uh, you know, essentially contributing negatively to the whole social evolution of the place. So much of, so much of what we're involved with in the council is tall buildings, but it's tall buildings and urban habitat. And as you said, it seems like uh, the commercial developments being focused on at the uh, at the expense of uh, of just residential. Is that something? Uh, to what degree is that true? And then what needs to be done? I think it is. It, it needs to be brought up to the same degree of uh, um, uh, sort of market. Uh, validity. I mean, what it is, what happens in a boom phase is essentially that everybody goes for the quick buck somehow. And uh, since the real estate industry has changed so drastically over the last century and a half or so, in which the pursue of uh, of profit and the uh, turnaround, it's all connected to financing, is is so incredibly short. I mean, you know, if you recall, uh, I came this morning from from London, and uh, and uh, uh, Governor still is the largest landholder in the center of London for the last four hundred years. I mean, that's what you call long term, right? Uh, and it is very curious that the technology that, in a way, ought to be prepared to extend the life of, of, the, of the portfolio. Essentially, uh, uh, that life is necessarily shortened by the uh, financial cycle. So it, it, it's, that is a contradiction that, in a way, affects fundamentally the residential portion of the problem. And I think that that's where the complexity and the most subtle and ultimately culturally more significant aspects of urban development really lie. So if you ask me, uh, you know, this afternoon when I 
was upstairs looking at the city from above and and you can see that there is a a chasm between um, the level of uh, not just detailing and this is not a design comment but rather uh, uh, one of of the interest that uh, development is focused on right uh, and if you feel that either the only solution for good architectural solutions or architectural proposals is is is, is based on high-end residential or uh, high-end office space I think you never get a city back and I think that's probably what is happening here too um, one of the greatest things about New York City where I live is precisely that that balance was never really forgotten and that may have something to do with the limitation in footprint I mean the fact that it's an island that you had to create your own uh, 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 component of residential at the same time in which you were uh, thinking about institutional construction and development uh, of office space I think that balance is not uh, uh, achieved yet here and I think it's because of the speed at which things have been produced. It would be an absolutely fundamental thing to think of, uh, of approaching this problem in a more sort of cohesive and, and sort of daring fashion. There, you know, you walk outside of this room and you see 25 different shapes, all of them more or less crazy of buildings that God knows whether they work or not. And then you walk ar around and take a car and drive up uh, 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 north, and the only thing you see is a is the same slab of two double loaded apartments per floor, uh, built in the most horrific construction standards, and and by miles. I mean, you know, if you add up all of that massive construction and compare it to the center where we are today, uh, it's probably three, four times larger. In a um, in a centralized uh, uh, economy like this, I think you could do things a lot faster and a lot better uh, if the focus was less on the sort of glamorous level of uh, of uh, of the image making of the city and uh, and more in creating the framework that actually makes the city work essentially in physical terms uh, what uh, Shanghai had uh, 50 and 60 years ago which was this sort of rare combination of a completely traditional place with high levels of cultural development and, uh, and a residential market which was really wide and um, very expanded has completely disappeared and that's not good. Well, I want to thank you for coming by and, and seeing us here in Shanghai because you've been coming here, coming here for a long time. Uh, Raphael Vanoli of Raphael Vanoli Architecture in New York, here at the CPDUH conference in Shanghai.